What's up guys, Sacrilegious Spanner 49 here, and today we are back with part four of our Toronto Thunderbirds draft rebuild. Now, in case this is your first time on this series, we are not allowed to trade for any players. We are not allowed to get talent out of the free agency. The only thing we are allowed to do to build a championship contending team is draft talent and trade for draft picks. This is our fourth season into this franchise. We still haven't even made the wild cards yet. Drew Brees has retired. Now, if you haven't seen last episode, definitely recommend you go check it out, man, because I feel like we have just built up a rivalry with the Baltimore Ravens right now. We're going to go check out their team, the Shifty Dogs. <laughs> they didn't steal our quarterback, but they probably got one of the best quarterbacks I have ever seen, mate. Not that guy. CJ Swan. The dude is a 85 overall superstar development quarterback. And we should have taken him. We had the first pick in the draft. And I traded it away for the third pick in the next round first. And here the Ravens are with my guy. You got Brett Hunley. You don't need CJ Swan. Brett Hunley's a goat. Look at Flacker. Mate, Flack is the third string. Good on you, Flacker. I took your guys' advice and I moved Will Mace over to the right tackle position and Whistler Austin over to the left tackle because apparently you should have run block on the left side and then pass block on the right side. You know, that's a cool little tip that you guys told me, so I'm a rock with it for this week and we'll see how we do. The only position that we went down in was actually the tight end position. We were complaining about Zachary. I don't even remember dude's last name, but we were complaining about Zach and now we have some guy called Cordell who's even worse. <laughs> oh my god. I moved Zach Chavez into the slot position. McAfee is now going to be wide receiver number two. We have four linebackers up here. We just drafted this guy right here, Decker. Corey Decker, quick development, 79 overall. So you guys should be pretty familiar with the team right now. This is exactly what we're rocking out with, mate. You know, checking out the picks. We have the Baltimore Ravens first pick, the Jets first pick, our first pick, and Cincinnati's first pick and a second rounder from Cincinnati as well. Jets, I'm expecting them to go pretty bad. I'm hoping we're a wild card team, so I'm gonna hold on to that pick. Cincinnati, not sure what they're doing at the moment, but <laughs> let's just hope that they buckle. Projection for this season, I'm gonna say nine and seven. I really feel like this is the first year that, as a team, we're probably gonna go positive. Better than positive, let's go 10 and six. All right, let's go ahead and simulate to week three. We're taking on the Saints in the first week. I just got my fingers crossed, man, fingers crossed. Come on. We won! That's the first win I've seen that was actually somewhat convincing. Will Finneran had one touchdown, one interception, had 214 yards on the day. So, the dude didn't have a, a, a fantastic day. <laughs> on the rushing end of things, Avion Cadet continuing to approve. 84 yards for Cadet, one touchdown, zero fumbles. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and simulate to week three, where we will find out who our next superstar is going to be. We won again, and a player has regressed. Who? Who cares? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's a backup. Why are you bald? Like, did you choose to shave off your head, or I'm, I'm confused. So it looks like we barely scraped out a win against the Bears, 28 to 24. Hey, I'll take it though, man. We are actually leading the division with a 2-0 record. Louisville strong safety Patrick Fails has been by his father on the sideline during football games since he could walk. So, I mean, that's the thing, man. I like Van Pelt as a strong safety. He's one of the OGs of this team. I think he came in year one. We also have CJ Pelshack is leaving the rugby. I, I think Madden is abusing this whole rugby thing a little too much, you know? The first and second pick are both Cummings. Are these guys brothers? Deontay Cummings from Florida. 24 years old, how old are you? 23. CJ Pelshack, we definitely need a tight end. He's a vertical threat, so I'll take that. And the other guy was a strong safety, if I'm correct. Patrick Fails from Louisville. B, B minus. That's what I'm saying, man. These, these top three skills for the safeties are so deceptive. Now, for the first time in this franchise, it's not anything we really need. I mean, what, what else do we need to add to our team? Maybe a running back? All right, let's go to the midway point and see how we are stack up. We're going to be our uh, 7-0. Can we be our uh, 7-0? Watch us just buckle. Wait, what? What do... What do I have to do, mate? We were 2-0 and, and now we're 3-4. We're coming third in the division. 
Now, I know Limvoa had a little bit of a dummy spit. He had a little bit of a bitch about not getting the signing bonus that he wanted. So, we'll give him $8 million and a $4 million signing bonus. We're already at four twenty. Let's Let's give him... Let's blaze it up. Let's give this man 420 as a signing bonus. Yeah, this quarterback might actually be pretty good, man. A throw power, B plus throw accuracy mid. At this point, all we need is for players to progress. We don't necessarily need any new pieces, you know what I mean? Anything that we get right now is going to be trade bait once again for pieces that we don't need. All right, let's go ahead and simulate to week 15. I'm hoping that we can improve this record. Three and four is disgusting. We should at least be a positive team. Five and eight? Like, we're trash, mate. We're straight trash. Please, Linval, you want a 13.3 bonus, mate. Why do you need $13 million? For what? B plus tackle in the undrafted section? Okay. So we do have all of our picks for this year. Round two, round four, round four again, round five, and round seven. So we can actually spread our draft out. Even though I kind of do want to target these uh, first round people, I feel like it would be interesting to draft somebody in a later round. There has to be at least one beast in the seventh round, right? Terrible, 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 terrible. After an incredible season in which he led the conference in rushing, Stanford running back Taylor Coates won the Heismans. Isn't that just ironic? We needed a running back, and Taylor Coates is right there for the taking, mate. Two A minuses. I'm expecting this guy to be maybe like anywhere between 77 and like 79 overall. But as long as he's a superstar development, that's all I really care about, you know? The Cowboys and the Jets are playing in the Super Bowls. I mean, that goes without saying. Our Jets pick is basically worth dog shit at this point. Round one, pick 31. Fantastic. Out of all the picks that we had, our pick actually turned out to be the most trash. This guy, TJ Bars, has an A Juke mover. B plus B. Whoa, hold on a second. Does that mean that your actual pocket passer stats are trash? I mean, you are six foot six, mate. It's not too late to go to the NBA. Let's go ahead and simulate right to the draft. I've got my fingers crossed, though, that we actually sign something good this year please 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 give me something i can work with my dude if the computer did not sign anybody this year i'm gonna be shitty i got my eyes shut let's go to my signings please okay that that's actually not bad the computer actually did something. So we signed ProSize, 88 overall running back. Thank you. We also signed a defensive tackle. Now we do run a 3-4, but nobody else was bidding on him. <laughs> so I guess we just took the sweepstakes. Uh, tight end, 76, not bad. For the first time in this entire franchise, I'm actually not disappointed with what the computer did. Okay, okay, things are starting to look up for this team right now, man. So we have the 4th pick, the 8th, the 21st, and the 31st. Taylor Coates is a superstar guarantee. But we don't need a running back anymore because we have pro size, right? Where is the tight end? CJ Pelshack. And where is the strong safety? Did he get taken? He didn't get taken. <laughs> then where is he? Ah, uh, holy shit. Yeah, that, that is a very good combine. Do we need the tight end or the strong safety? I feel like we need the tight end more than we need the strong safety. So let's go ahead and take CJ Pelshack. 76 overall superstar. That's the same as the guy we just signed in the free agency, but this guy's a superstar. Patrick Fails, come to the squad. 80 overall superstar. Let's go, boys. So that means we have Van Pelt and we have Patrick Fails, which means we can move Loud back to cornerback. Woo! Taylor Coates is still there, mate. I gotta take him. He's a guaranteed superstar. Trade bait. All for the banter, all for the trade bait. 79 overall superstar. Let's go, boys. We also have TJ Bars. I honestly, I like the look of this guy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a quarterback here. Now, quarterbacks are always good for trade bait, so... Okay. Okay, I'll take that. 78 overall quarterback. Let's go. So, to my knowledge, we have two second round picks. So, we have a little bit of freedom here. We can go and do whatever we want right here. Don't necessarily need to sign anyone. TJ Bars, I like the look of you, TJ Bars. I'm not gonna lie. 
77 overall superstar. Okay, I'll take him. So we do have another pick in the second round. <laughs> oh my god. No, we don't. What the hell? Hello? Alright, man. So our next pick comes in the fourth round. What do we have left on the watch list? Stephen Parkey. I like him. Don't love him, but I like him. I feel like anybody who was like worthy of a fourth round selection would already been taken. But let's take John Atchison. Why not? Why not, man? 70 overall. Alright, mate. Let's go check out the draft recap. Ah, oh, holy cringe. <laughs> we picked up a tight end 76 overall superstar. We also picked up Patrick Fails, which means that our secondary game just took a major step up. We picked up superstar running back Taylor Coates. Good trade bait. Then we followed that up with Lucas June. Good trade bait. Then we followed that up with TJ Bars. Superstar 77 overall. Let's go, boys. And then from there on, it just it just went horrible. Like, forget the last four picks ever happened. So checking out the stats on the year, Will Finneran did disgusting, mate. 18 touchdowns, 17 interceptions, which is tragic. Zach Chavez in the slot actually picked up 1,000 yards. Stephon Diggs were 867, and McAfee was 708. So you guys were 100% right, man. Zach Chavez with only 65 receptions, the least out of all three starting receivers, had easily the most yards. So, Fatal Cons actually improved a lot. A lot, my dude. He had seven interceptions last year. He had three. So, now he's got seven. That's pretty solid. Josh McConnell had 16 and a half sacks. The dude is tearing up the NFL. Hunter had 11. I see us definitely being a playoff team next year. No doubt. No questions asked. TFLs, of course, my boy Linval Joseph had 21. That's why I paid this guy what he wanted, man. Last but not least, let's go check out the XP drops for all of our players, man. We're going to improve this team going to the next season. Got my fingers crossed. I feel like next year, we more so than not will definitely be a playoff team. Yeah, initially I thought I would move the yearly awards to the end of the season just to make the episode flow more fluently. But apparently, when you're at the draft recap, you can't check out the season stats. So I really, really do apologize for that. That sucks, man. I really wanted to see how we did there. Alright, so Fatal Cons has 23,500 XP, my dude. Playball, we want to move that to aggressive. Uh, high motor, definitely. Predictable, yes. Let's move that press coverage up to a 95. Let's move that play rec up to an 80. And we'll put the rest in the catching. Uh, that was trash. Josh McDonald has damn near 20,000, bro. Let's get that awareness up to an 80 because God, you need that awareness. Block shedding, let's get that up to a 89. And that puts him up to an 87 overall. Let's go, boys. Woo! All right, we are in the 2020 preseason. Let's hope that we can make the playoffs this year. I'm spitting on myself. Will Mace, Dunlap, Veerling, Doss, Austin. Will Finneran has upped his game to 82 overall now. 99 carrying, 99 BC vision. I'm ready for this guy to go out there and start making some big plays for this Thunderbirds team. The receiving core is exactly the same, just upgraded. Stefan Diggs is now at an 87, Chavez is at 83, and McAfee is at 80. Our brand new rookie, Patrick Fails, I moved him over to our free safety instead because he made the transition quite well with the overall. We also have Van Pelt, 83 overall, holding down strong safety. The middle linebacking core is looking more solid than ever. Even though Linvold Joseph did take a big hit, he went from 92 to 87. Alan Loud went back to cornerback. He's at 83, so even our cornerback situation is looking a lot more solid right now. Let's change up the rules, man. If we make the wild card round, I'll play it out. How about that? It's going to be a bit hard to make the Super Bowl with this team, but if you guys are down for it, I will play all the way through from the wild card round to the Super Bowl as long as we can make it, but... Looking at this team, I really feel like we have the pieces to finally make a run at that. That being said, that is going to wrap up this episode of our Thunderbirds draft rebuild. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe because we do videos like this every single day. That being said, I'm going to catch you back next time, man. I'm out. Peace.